A certificate of deposit, CD, is a savings instrument that many banks offer. It usually gives a higher interest rate, but you cannot access your investment for a specific length of time. Suppose you deposit $3,000 in a CD paying 6% interest, compounded monthly. How much will you have in the account after 20 years? Let's learn. Key thing here is we know this is a compound interest problem. It's compounding monthly. It's an account for over 20 years. You're not adding more money into it, right? You're just taking an initial amount, putting it in, and letting it sit for 20 years. So that's our calculation here. Let's get some key parts here. We deposit $3,000 into a CD, paying 6% interest, compounded monthly. How much will you have in the account after 20 years? Well, our formula here, like I said, for the compound interest formula <laughs> is our uh, end balance after n years is equal to our initial starting balance or principal times one plus our rate over the number of compounding periods in one year to the power of uh, n is the number of years, <laughs> write that down, it's fine, uh, times k, k being the compounding periods in one year. And let's go put n here, well n years is right here, so a kind of little note right there. n is how many years we're dealing with, okay? So let's go put our information, let's write it out. Don't just go jump into the formula. Let's make sure we understand everything we need. P sub n, that's what we want to find, the end amount. Okay, P sub zero, our initial amount is $3,000. Right here. Our rate is a 6%, but as a decimal, 0, 0.06 right there. Make sure it's as a decimal, that's a common mistake I'll see. Um, K, ooh, the number of compounding periods. The number of compounding periods here, well, it's compounded monthly, so there's 12 months in a year, so that's going to be a 12. And then we have our N, let's go N here, number of years, 20. Okay? Just for the record, if you're compounding quarterly, there's four quarters in a year, that would be a four. If we're compounding semi-annually, that's twice a year, so it would be a two there. And as compounding annually, that only happens once a year, that'd be a one, just so you know. And those are the common ones. Oh, daily would be 365, okay? 365 days in a year. All right, let's use our formula here. P sub N is equal to our initial amount, 3,000, times a one plus our R value, which is 0 0.06, over our K, which is 12, to our exponent power of 12, or 20 times 12. Now, I don't recommend just typing this all in your calculator right away. Um, I mean, you can, you probably will get it down pretty decent, but I like to kind of break down each part where I can. So 3,000 here, and showing your work is always important so we can see your teacher, or if I'm a teacher, can see your thought process. One plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 here, my calculator is a 0 0.005 to the power of 20 times 12, which is 240. Okay, keep going, 3,000 here. 1 plus 0 0.005 is 1.005 1 to the 240 power. Now, order of operations tell us we have to do that exponent first. Be careful, a lot of students will multiply by 3,000 and then do it. Don't do that. 3,000 here times one point, this is probably a long decimal, 1.005 to the power of 240. And we got a decimal that kind of goes on forever. So what I'm gonna do here is 3.3102.04476. I'm just gonna use the whole value in the calculator. Um, make sure you get like a more accurate answer here. And you multiply that by 3,000, okay? and we get a 9,930.613427. Now, we want to round that one though to the nearest cent because 
we're dealing with an amount here, okay? So we have to deal with cents. We're not gonna have a fraction of a penny. So our end amount rounded, 9930.61, three it keeps it a one. So what we have here is our end amount here is $9,930 and 61 cents rounded after we've had the account for 20 years. Well, I hope you learned something about compound interest and how to calculate it. And as always, thanks for watching.